Hey everybody, my name is Mackenzie, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Warp Stabilization is good to use if your footage comes out a little shaky and you need to be able to smooth out that motion. So let's jump into our timeline and see what we have. We have a clip here that I shot uh, last weekend at a wedding and we're going to drag this into our timeline and uh, what I'm going to do is just delete the audio here. Now as you can see the clip turns out pretty shaky and so what we're going to do is we're going to use the warp stabilizer effect in Premiere Pro to be able to smooth out this footage and see what it looks like. Alright let's type in warp uh, here in the effects tab, go down to video effects, uh, distort and warp stabilizer. As you can see here, it analyzes the background. This may take a moment, especially if your footage uh, has a bunch of edits done to it, uh, like color correction and, and things like that. Uh, it normally takes no longer than a minute, couple seconds, but uh, it depends on, again, the length of your footage. So now it's stabilizing, and now you can see here it zoomed in a little bit because that's how it uses the stabilization. Uh, and so let's take a look at what we have now. As you can see, it looks a lot better already. Um, and obviously this, this clip needs uh, to be colored and stuff like that. But for now, I mean, that looks great. The motion looks so much smoother than it did before. One thing I will say is sometimes it doesn't immediately start to stabilize your footage. If that's the case, come down to effects controls here warp stabilizer and what you're going to do is you're going to click this analyze button that's grayed out. Uh, what, what's going to happen is it's actually going to be highlighted blue and then if you click analyze it should start the analyzation. Now we're going to look at the different options that the stabilizer has. So with warp stabilizer you come down to stabilization. Uh, the results you generally want to keep that at smooth motion. Uh, next is smoothness. Uh, it starts out at 50%. Now this is up to your discretion on how much you need to smooth out your footage. Um, with the methods, you want to normally keep it at subspace warp, but sometimes you want to be able to bring it down to position scale and rotation. And again, this is stuff that you can play with with your clips and see what works best for you. And finally, the borders. Uh, the borders is up to your discretion as well. Uh, if you want it to stabilize uh, with just the clip, if you want it to crop it a little bit, auto scale. Generally, you want to keep it at stabilized crop and auto scale. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it. And that's how you use Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Leave a like on this video. Hit subscribe. My name is Mackenzie Beebe, and we'll see you guys next week.